All right, we'll just start with tapping so easy. Tap to ground. Tap your breathing. Breathing in. <laughs> ah, thanks for coming. I love you. Face here. Tapping, breathing, calming the amygdala, giving us access to higher level brain function. Tap and breathe. Creating more calm-minded people in the world. Hey, Cammy. Inhale the morning. Thanks for that. Cammy, did you see my picture? <laughs> of the amphitheater? <laughs> so now just take... Uh, one tap with one hand and take the other hand and just set the attention to receive from prime creator highest holiest source creator God spirit see if any words want to come as I hit my my chest under the nipples, that's the anger point. <sighs> Under your armpit, and then here. Okay, burping, yawning to clear my eyes water. Just focus on your palms now. Make sure your body's comfortable. So use your mind to check in with your physical body. Are you comfortable? How do you want to turn? So like, for me, it's more comfortable to do a little bit of a left turn here. For whatever reason, I'm just going to allow that. So just check in with your physical body. Let your body show you how it'll be more comfortable. I know a woman that had, uh, I believe it was MS, it was some kind of a, a disease where her body was just so uncomfortable. And just by allowing her body to make little teeny movements to what, towards what felt better, she um, healed herself. And she was young when she had it. I think most people get diseases like that when they're older, but she had just finished college and then she went to the hospital for it. So just Take a couple of minutes, you're going to close your eyes and allow your body to make little movements towards what feels better. So it wouldn't be a regular posture that you would find yourself in. And then just notice your breathing. If it's short, don't change it, just allow it. My breathing is very short, my torso is twisted, I'm going to allow it. I'm going to powerfully allow my body to just do what it wants to do. Okay. And now my head's shaking left, right, clearing resistance. And then I get this sort of a, it's almost like a nauseous energy. And then just kind of like flush that out. But I don't get grossed out by it. It's just like cleaning up a pile of dirt in your house. That's all it is. Good. So I learned that uh, my this Renegade Yogi page in Facebook is sort of like the ring, and I'm the Hobbit in Lord of the Rings. Um. I had to remove a couple posts by somebody that I love who's it feels like they're trying to turn my page into like a page like their page but they already have that page and this renegade yogi page um, I started to to just bring people back to themselves I don't want to create just yet another distraction 
from people's real lives that pulls them into a computer screen instead of watching the bees walk around on the leaves. So I'm seeing that um, like the Hobbit did, if you try and give the ring away, um, it doesn't really work. So I think I have to keep this page, I think I have to keep tending the page, weeding the garden. I mean, most people are, most people who've been on this page for a while get it, they get it. It's not. We're not just loading this page up with a whole bunch of crap for people to see. It's really got to serve in some way. So. Go inside your mind. Right now. Just go inside your mind without any judgment. Don't try and relax. Don't, don't try and do anything. Just look at what's there. Just look at. If there's a. You know, what does your mind look like? Just what does it look like? Don't try to change it. Is it a is it like a field or is it a room? Is it full of things? Does it have stuff? Is there movement in there? Just witness, just witness what's in your mind. What is my mind doing? Okay? My mind is not me, it's mine to use. Relax your belly now, big belly breathing. Breathing in, big belly. Expand in the light of Prime Creator. And as you exhale, stay expanded. Stay expanded in the light, it just let go of everything it doesn't serve. And you exhale. Inhale, big belly, expand again in the big, huge white light of Prime Creator, white rainbow light. Exhale, push your belly down. I release what doesn't serve me. And then I'm noticing in my knees, there's a little fear energy. Fear of moving forward is in the knees anyway. A little fear of moving forward there, that's okay. I just witnessed, I'm not gonna try and change. Big belly, inhale. As big as you can, expand to that big white light. Good. Stay expanded, exhaling, push your belly down. Grounding, grounding, grounding. And that's how you're gonna keep breathing through this whole thing. The big white light of Prime Creator is way beyond anything you could ever outgrow. You're always completely covered. You can imagine the earth is completely covered. And that light offers nothing but pure healing without any asking anything in return. So it offers pure health, pure peace, pure love, pure abundance. The raw materials needed to manifest your heart's desires, which serve all as you serve yourself through the fulfillment of serving humanity in some way. Good. And if you like to pray with your hands together or hands apart in your heart, I open now to receive healing in my highest best. From the highest and holiest source creator energy God, just notice what your body's doing. My body is not me. It's also mine to use. So my body's not me. It's mine to use. I call it a meat suit. And my mind is not me. It's mine to use. So my mind has a job. My ego broadcasts very loudly in my mind. My ego has a job to do. Keep me safe, sane, and secure. Help me attach to my, perf my imperfect caregivers as a child so that I can be here now as an adult, moving toward my bliss, my soul purpose, completion phase in my life. So in our early, early years, 
we, we cleave to our imperfect caregivers so that we keep ourselves safe and we don't run away for a sign of somebody saying something or being mean or whatever. And I understand more and more how different my life was because I could, I could hear angels as long as I could remember. And so while my parents were like yelling at me or whatever, I could hear my angels at the same time saying, well, she's just scared or he's just scared, you know. Okay, so whether you believe in Jesus or not, I like to use the idea of Jesus, of a person who prayed for people while they were putting him to death. So while he was getting nailed to a cross, forgive them, Lord, they know not what they do. And my, I have a friend who I love dearly, who's a musician, wrote a song called Hearts and Triangles. And I said, where did you get that? And he said, a little kid told him, it's all hearts and triangles. It's just hearts and triangles. And so, in the physical plane, and especially in the United States, people see um, everyone's grouped into, you know, male, female, black, white, um, old, young, uh, politically, you know, Democrat, Republican, um, uh, all these different ways to divide human beings into two groups. Um, and those divisions are really um, unimportant when you go down to the, the lowest, lowest. The lowest, the true division is hearts and triangles. So um, the hearts would be love uh, is their priority and triangles would be money, money and power. So the triangles are money and power as their priority. And then the other side would be hearts. The lo love is their priority. Love, taking care of each other. Now, there are no triangle people on this page unless they're here to make fun of me. Um, so no matter if you're male, female, black, white, Republican or Democrat, da, 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 all those nonsensical um divisions that you can play with, enjoy your experience as the one time only incarnation as whoever you are, whether you're, you know, a, some political affiliation or you don't care about politics at all, whether you're a super devout Christian or you're an atheist, you know, um, whether, you know, no matter what color your skin is, all that. So your meat suit details, uh, the people who their focus their choice is love, the hearts. Um, enjoy your political affiliations. Enjoy your meat suit details. You know, your your uh, gender and your skin color and your religion or non-religion or you know whatever. Enjoy all these details because it's those details that that lend to the one time only incarnation as who you are. Okay, but the real split that I can spiritually get behind are the hearts or triangles. There, and like I said, there are no triangles in this page. Okay, so the people whose priority is money and power, um, they're, they're not part of this. So all we have in my, both my both of my empowerment groups, whether it's Renegade Yogi or Conservative Men's Empowerment Group, everyone in those groups are both, both choose hearts, both choose love. Okay, I'm trying to see where they want to go with this. Okay, so the triangles people. So people who, are, who choose hearts naturally, you know, um, there's many, many more of the hearts than there are of the triangles, but one triangle can do a lot of damage to 
to a lot of hearts. Um, some triangles are getting exposed now and will be for the next seven years till 2026. You're going to see more and more ex uh, triangles exposed. And the, and the hearts are, they don't even think like a triangle. They can't possibly think like a triangle. So it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult for the hearts when the triangles start getting exposed because it's, it's going to blow their mind. But why I'm talking about this right now, I'm having clients that are more intuitive than they realize and then they're not coming to classes for whatever reason they can't come to classes. So they're not able to use their intuitive abilities and gifts to happy birthday, Lisa. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of intuitive people and they're not coming to classes with teachers that can teach them how to use their gifts. But the hearts really need to empower themselves if they want to get through the next seven years. So some hearts have backed triangles, not, uh, not knowing that they have. And so both of my pages, Renegade Yogi and Conservative Men's Empowerment Group meant to have the hearts back themselves. So through meditation and through what we do, you come back to yourself. I trust myself. I trust my big, peaceful, powerful, loving spirit. I empower myself through that, coming back to myself, practice of bless, forgive, respect, free will, choice, and love. And then Neem Karoli Baba says, cultivate, which would be the word that I use for practice. But for him, the word is cultivate, cultivate gratitude. Okay, and then through the cultivation of gratitude, you reap um, peace, love, uh, high vibration. He rolls his eyes. Because... <laughs> Because what is the point of talking about vibration? If he, 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 he thinks he's simplifying through. He is simplifying through cultivate peace. And I think that I'm um, simplifying through teaching about vibration. Okay. So everyone that's listening to me, everyone in both my pages are hearts. Your people, all you people are hearts. It doesn't matter what color your skin is your gender, your religion, it doesn't matter your politics, you're all hearts. You're all on the same side. You all want the same world. You all want to see the same thing. All of you. So, um, thank you and I love you all, really. And we're gonna start, so you're just gonna focus on your heart. And you're just gonna choose your own heart. I choose my own heart. I bring my energy, my power, back to my own heart. <clears throat> Good. I come to my own center. I'm just going to mention the five agreements. I am impeccable with my word. I do not take anything personally. Okay. I do not make assumptions. I always do my best. And the fifth agreement, which is what I'm really getting at, is I am skeptical, but I'm learning to listen. So I back my own heart. I come to my own center. I trust my own divinity. After that, I'm skeptical, but I learn to listen. I can listen to all. Whether they're hearts or triangles, I can listen to all. And I'm skeptical, but I learn to listen. And now, it's not my job to decide if someone is telling me the truth. It's not my job to choose sides. There's a lot of freedom in not choosing sides. If you think of everybody talking at you, everybody's talking at you. Everybody wants you to listen to them and believe them and I'm telling the truth and they're not. They're all like your children. If you, I have a daughter and a son 
and they come to me and they want me to pick. They want me to pick. They want me to choose. You can root for all the hearts at the same time. You can listen to the hearts. Other hearts are sharing their stories. And then you're skeptical, but you learn to listen. That's all you need. So keep coming back to your own center. I choose my own heart. Okay, good. I open to receive healing now in my highest best interest. All right. Focus on your tailbone. Let your body move. Somebody's body wants to tilt. The top wants to tilt left, so you're not straight up and down. Don't hold your body straight. Allow your body to move. It knows what it's doing. Good. It knows how to release Stagnant energy. Good. So you can grow a root from your tailbone down to the center of the earth, wrap around Mother Earth's core. I'm grounded, I'm grounded, I'm grounded. Your empowerment and your, your empowerment brings your peace. It brings your power and it brings your love. You turn uh, into like a big dog that doesn't need to fight, okay? Empowerment takes you as like a little dinghy on the ocean. It turns you into a big barge, a big steel barge. I can't remove the ocean. The ocean will always be there. The difference is, are you a little tiny wooden dinghy with like you lost one of your oars, now you're totally screwed, and you're just getting pushed around without any, you know, and you're just along for the ride? Or are you a big steel barge that directs its own self toward or away from the next storm? Good. So I cannot remove the ocean, but through, I'm just helping you empower yourself. I'm assisting you in your own empowerment. That's what this page is for. That's what Renegade Yogi and Conservative Men's Empowerment Group pages are for. They're to lead you back to your own empowerment. Not just to pull your eyes into the screen world. Most of you get that. Good. Let your body move. Somebody's head wants to turn left. Good. Let your body just move. Making little movements. Good. And now we're grounded. And now bring the energy, Mother Earth's energy, up. Up from the center of the earth, bring a powerful healing grounded energy up from the center of the earth. You can, you can bring lava, but bring it up through, up through your first chakra. Turn it into a powerful energy that's going to destroy anything that's not about health in your body. Use Mother Earth's energy now. It's going to destroy any kind of like cancer cells, any kind of anything that doesn't belong, anything that's not in pure health. We pray for Mother Earth's perfect health and she prays for ours. So we let Mother Earth's energy come up now through the first chakra at the root, around where your genitals are. Just bring her energy powerfully up, not just up your spine, up your whole body. In through your whole body, let that energy pour into your legs, killing any kind of pain or you know, reducing inflammation. Good, washing through your legs, let it kill any cancer cells, any kind of cells, anything that doesn't belong in your own highest best interest. Let Mother Earth energy just kill everything that doesn't serve you. Any kind of parasites, anything like that. Let her just kill it. Let her just heal you. She's massive and she's powerful. Let that earth energy, let your body move. You can put your head down, turn left, turn right. Good. Bring that energy up now through your belly. Let her heal your gut. Let her, let her energy heal your gut if you have a, like a can't eat a problem, any kind of, just good. Your uh, digestive biodome. Relax your belly. 
powerfully allow Mother Earth's energy to powerfully heal your gut. As if you've flooded your whole gut with you know, celery juice, as the medical medium talks about. Fill your whole belly. Good. Let her powerful earth energy and healing and grounding just take out anything. Anything that's in there that doesn't belong. And now moving up through your chest. Healing your heart now. It's like that grounded Mother Earth energy when you're, when you're nervous about being late or you're nervous about something you're worried about. Um, people you're attached to. Let that Mother Earth powerful grounded energy move into your heart now. That grounded, beautiful energy that just tells you, it's okay. It's all right. They're all right. It's all right. They're all right. Good. Moving up through your chest. We're going to stay in the heart. You're just going to use your mind to move that Mother Earth energy through your heart. Just washing through, washing through. Expand it if it wants. Expanding is, makes healing easier. So feel free to expand. Good. Right up into your chest. Healing your... A mammary glands. Healing your chest, healing everything. And just, I used to say reset, but that's not the way um, Neem Crowley Baba, it's not, it's not a reset. We don't reset as if we didn't work really hard through any kind of disease or problem or issue or drama or trauma. We, we heal it so that we still have the imprint of the lesson, whether you had cancer or you had I had a thyroid illness. So I still have the imprint of the disease, but I don't reset it like it never happened because the experience of it gave me an experience in my meat suit, in my human life. So I want to keep the wisdom. I want to keep the experience, but I want, I want perfect health. So we don't reset to factory new settings anymore. I was incorrect about that. Moving forward though, it's a perfect healing. And it's a, it's a making things better. It's a, it's, it's a wise, it's a making you more wise, kind of. Okay, so it's working with whatever's happened. That was just happening then. But now the experience is perfect health. Good. Okay, so perfect health. Mother Earth washing through, giving us perfect health. Just clearing out any remnants of any... Anything that doesn't belong in the highest, best interest. We're just nurturing and taking care of our physical body, our meat suit. Moving up now, and, and also in the lungs, washing through the grief. You know, Walter's dad just died not too long ago, but maybe the, you know, we're not going to wash away all that grief because Walter is meant to you know, enjoy the attachment. I made a video, enjoy the attachment. Two lives woven together. So we're not gonna remove all the grief, but my mom died a long time ago, so I do wanna remove the grief now. So I can expand my lungs, my heart, your physical heart. Go ahead, allow Mother Earth's energy to completely heal your physical heart. Remove all plaque, anything that may have come as a result of eating bad foods, enjoying your physical life. You know, it sometimes includes eating at McDonald's. So just washing through your physical heart. Relax your belly. Yeah, relax your belly. Someone is really judging themselves for eating badly, and that's that, um, that was just something that you've gone through. Maybe you're still doing it. But the guilt from it is going to lower your vibration. Guilt lowers the vibration to, to 30. So if you've eaten bad, that's fine. That's just how you, that's just what, those are the choices that you made. Good. Good. And if you stay guilty, you're going to keep eating like that. So if you just say, oh, well, those were choices that I made in the past and going forward, we'll see. I don't know what I'll do now. I don't know what I'll do today or tomorrow. Just loving yourself through it, loving yourself through the choices. I've eaten, 
ice cream cakes by myself multiple times, the whole cake in one sitting. That's fine. I love myself. I think that's fun. I look back. That's I can't believe I took down a whole cake multiple times. So that's just the experience that I had as Carla. Choices that I made then. I remember having fun. I remember paying the price for it, but that's okay. It was worth it. Good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders, and allow out whatever can come out now. There's no shame in eating a whole cake. No shame in that. Good. Breathing big belly. Breathe big belly. Let that Mother Earth energy come through and just she's just playing with you. You're just playing. I played with an ice cream cake here or there. They have a smoking habit, whatever. Good. Breathe it out. Nice. No guilt, no shame. Just love yourself. Look what I did. I had that habit or I ate that. Good. Nice. Now moving up again. Powerful earth healing energy up into your throat chakra now. Throat chakra. Throat chakra needs lots of attention right now. So just allow Mother Earth's energy to pour through and just come out in all directions. People are afraid to speak. It's okay. That's okay. Don't be afraid to speak. Just, if you don't want to speak, if it's not in my highest best interest to speak, silence is the best response to nonsense. I love myself too much to engage with the drama that will come about if I speak what I want to speak. If I want to say, if I, if I tell this group of people or this person what I really think, there's going to be nothing but a fight and drama. So out of love for myself, I'm just going to smile and nod. Silence is the best response to nonsense. Maybe these people are not in a high enough vibrational energy. You know, people need to be vibrating at 400 reason. Reason, acceptance is 350, but reason is 400. If someone's not at least a 400 level vibration, there's no point in me sharing my thoughts with them. Because especially if they're in a fear vibration, they're going to get triggered. Good. Something that I say will trigger someone. My 11 year old was asked at school, are you vaccinated? Are you vaccinated? <laughs> That's the world we live in now. People are not only put into a hundred level fear vibration. They're also trained to ask questions that trigger themselves. That is the current programming. They're asking questions that will trigger themselves. Good. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. We're still in the throat, but we're going to move up into the brain and up into the head. And now we're going to use Mother Earth energy. Pouring through your eyes, washing through your eyeballs. Pouring through and washing through your R brain, your reptilian brain. Think of it as in uh, the base of your skull on the back. Washing through your reptilian brain, washing all the fear out of the R brain. Washing all the fear out. So the Mother Earth energy is just coming up. She's already healed your whole body powerfully. Now she's just pouring through your reptilian brain. She's pouring out through your eyes to wash your eyes. The energy is pouring out through your mouth, healing your whole mouth, your teeth, everything. And now up, create another line up through clearing and healing powerfully. Your pineal gland is pouring out of your third eye now. Pouring out of your third eye, washing through your brain. And your pituitary gland, a little ball inside your brain, washing through that. Washing through your pituitary gland to give you the best possible metabolism so you can enjoy food washing through your pituitary healing your pituitary washing through good giving you the best possible metabolism the easiest metabolism not like a teenager because you wouldn't want to have to sit around and eat all the time you want to be able to read you want to be able to meditate think about other things besides food so healing your pituitary Healing your third eye and your pineal gland. 
You can imagine if you know what the Eye of Horus looks like. Good. Your third eye, your pineal gland, your pituitary, and your thyroid. Now imagine all three together linked through a very healthy triangle. Healthy, powerful triangle. Your pituitary, your pineal, and your thyroid all now working together in your highest best interest. And bring Mother Earth energy to that triangle of energy. Powerful. Ironically, to fight the triangles <laughs> as a heart. Okay, good. Good. Relax your eyes. Relax your eyes. Relax your third eye. I have no idea what you're going to become aware of in the next seven years. But empowering yourself, coming to your own center, will assist you in saying, well, that is what's happening now. Or that's what's been happening. Good. My higher vibration is bringing light to the world, exposing triangle behavior. And so it is. That's all it is. I empower myself. I set the intention to live a spirit-directed life. I am here now. We are all here now on the physical plane as well as the spiritual plane. There are two simultaneous existences happening all the time. Okay. Your job as a heart is to hold the love energy. If a triangle can pull you down into hate, that is not beneficial to you. And you are using your energy to serve the triangle side. So, the only way that the hearts can pull and bring the light into the world is by keeping their vibration high, love. 500. Loving people, not loving their behavior. So whatever you start to become aware of, bad behavior, you're going to bless, forgive, respect the free will choices of, and love the person, even if they're triangle. You just don't love their behavior. But you still love so that you keep your own vibration high, so that you can keep bringing light into the world. Because the people that know what I know are all on the same side. We don't see politics. We don't see skin color. We don't see religion. We don't see these other divide, you know, things that divide other people, male, female, young, old. We don't see those things as divisionary. The only division that we see is hearts, people who put love first, prioritize love, and triangles who put greed, money, power as their priority. Now, it sounds like it would be hard to be a heart, but it's actually easier. It's actually easier when you make your priority love becomes easier and easier and easier and easier and easier and easier and easier, I promise. As I love the triangles, I set myself totally free. I keep giving myself healing vibration. I keep connected to prime creator energy. I stay in the light. I stay in the light. I'm always in the light of prime creator. Good. And now, at the very top of your head, where your crown chakra is, reach up through your crown and connect with whatever heaven means to you. Highest, holiest, source creator, energy, God. I'm just going to connect. 
You're going to open your crown chakra as much as you can. Receive all that you can. All the abundance that you receive, you can use however you see fit. Energy. Money. Whatever abundance it is. You can use it how you see fit. Relax your eyes, jaw, and shoulders. Smiling face. Focus on receiving. Receive heaven's energy. Just receive that light energy. And now let that wash through your body. You used earth's energy to heal in a grounded way. And now use prime creator energy. Also for healing but also for washing through, washing through, washing through. Clearing and washing any of the, maybe the parasites or whatever the earth, whatever earth's energy destroyed, heaven's energy washes away. Good, relax, eyes, jaw, and shoulders, smiling face. Focus on receiving. Receiving the highest, holiest source creator energy. Receive healing. Healing, cleaning, clearing, cleansing. Washing through your chakra system, through your channel, through your third eye. Fear and worry blocks your third eye. As you receive this healing energy, you're raising your vibration. Good. Good. Now see yourself sitting on top of your very own mountain in that perfect light, that perfect light. You're sitting on top of your very own mountain. It's very high. Only people with high level vibrations can come to you. So they come in love and peace. You can visit each other's mountains, but for now you just stay on top of your very own mountain. People with a lower vibrational energy, they don't have the energy to climb the mountain to even hurt you or do anything. You're at the top of your own mountain, sitting or standing, just keep receiving. Good, let your body move still. As you receive, you heal and you raise your vibration. Good, relax, eyes, jaw, shoulders. Receiving. Relax your belly. Good. Any chatter that comes is ego. You just say, no, lovingly, no, thank you, no. Keep receiving. Good. Let your body move. Smiling face. And now I want you to open to receive even more. I open now to receive even more healing in my highest best interest. I understand my highest best is the highest best of all. Good. You can make your mountain higher. Good. Raise your vibration. As you receive more, you raise your vibration more. Good. Good. So good. I love you. Good. Smiling face. Good. And now feel the light around you. You're on top of the mountain. You're in the center of the light. Just allow yourself to expand now in that light. Allow yourself to expand. As you expand, you raise your vibration and you raise the collective vibration exponentially. So allow yourself to expand 
top of your mountain. Grow your mountain if you want. Good. Allow your peaceful, loving vibration. to exponentially raise the collective. Nice. See the other renegade yogis on top of their mountains? We cover the entire earth and we expand to connect with each other. It's so easy. We expand to connect with each other all over the planet. Going from a very high place, we cover the entire earth with light. So easy. Good. We heal the Earth's atmosphere and her water and her land all at the same time. We assist Mother Earth with her high vibrational energy. Keep receiving, or you can work with me. I'm just sweeping through the entire picture and removing anything that Mother Earth doesn't want. She's the host planet. She loves us. She loves high vibrational human beings. We are the stewards of Mother Earth. Whatever she doesn't want, down to the smallest microscopic. She knows what belongs and what doesn't. I don't need to know. I'm just assisting Mother Earth in her perfect healing. You can follow with me or just keep receiving. Both are important. Both jobs. Good, good. Feel yourself, your physical body. Coming into more health and more peace. Good. Feel your health as being clean and clear and powerful and peaceful. Good. And now, so gently, so lovingly to yourself, you just say, I am. Relax, eyes, jaw, shoulders, big belly breathing, smiling face, I am. Good, relax, arms, I am. Feel the wisdom in your soul. Maybe there's many lifetimes. I am. Feel the expansiveness. Feel the wisdom. Good, now just gonna sweep through, clear away anything that doesn't serve you. Keep your belly, big belly breathing. Enjoy the experience of I am. Let it be easy. As Neem Kroli Baba says, it is more important now for you to feel I am deeply and completely loved, accepted, and supported by Prime Creator, by Great Spirit, Highest, Holiest Source, Creator, Energy, God, whatever word, Spirit, Universe, I am deeply and completely loved, accepted, supported. And so it is. Good. Your individual vibration raises the collective vibration now.
You are being the change you wish to see in the world. You are bringing the light. John Lennon called himself a warrior of the light. This is the way to be a warrior of the light now. Raising your vibration, raising the collective vibration, the truth comes out easily. Not through fighting, that keeps it hidden. You cannot fight your way to peace, peace is the way. Your high vibration brings light to the world and that's the only thing we need to do. Good, we raise our own individual vibration. It raises the collective and the light comes in. Good. We experience more ease, more peace, more power. Mother Earth experiences more healing. Good. It is a perfect system. This peace is always available to you, always. Good. This meditation is always available to you to experience and receive healing every time you do it. You do not have to be here on the live stream. You can receive this healing any time you choose. Bring the light inside. Experience this light on the outside. I am deeply and completely loved, accepted, and supported by Prime Creator. And now bring the light inside. Fill inside your physical body. Pull it down if you have any issues you're aware of. Pull the light down into those places like a laser beam, zapping pain. Good. Good. Fighting with a laser beam of the highest, holiest source creator energy is not like fighting. It's like knowing you've already won. It's like saying, I am perfect health. It is so. <coughs> it's using the powerful energy available to you to create the experience that you desire from your peaceful, powerful, loving spirit. There's no try, there's just do. I am perfect health. I am powerful peace. I am pure, raw love. It is so. I deeply and completely love and accept myself as I am. Deeply and completely loved, accepted, and supported by Prime Creator. As it is inside, so it is outside. I am love living in a loving world. I am peace as I live in a peaceful world. Fourth level beliefs, we create the reality we want. 
the high vibrational renegade yogis at the top of their own mountain in their very highest vibrations experience a peaceful, loving, healthy existence. To them, that is the world. The people in the lower vibrational energies of guilt, shame, anger, fear, they live in their own world. We cannot change their mind. They can change their vibration by doing what we are doing now. You have put the work in you are showing up. You are creating the world that we all want to see. We cannot fight our way to peace. Peace is the way. It is not selfish for you renegade yogis to be on top of your mountain in your very high vibration and experiencing a peaceful, loving world. You are creating a peaceful, loving world that will serve all including the lower vibrational beings. It will serve. The Bible says the meek shall inherit the earth. The hearts will win. The hearts will create the peaceful, loving world. That is how we save the triangles from themselves, their chaos. And their behaviors become seen. They're held responsible. Our high vibration serves them. Bring the light, keep bringing the light into the world. Keep focusing on your own vibration. Stay on your mountain. Stay in your high vibration. You can see the other renegade yogis on their mountaintops. There is no way to peace. Peace is the way. Be the change you wish to see in the world. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. This is available to you all the time. You are powerful peace. You are love. Feel me loving you, grateful for you. You renegade yogis are part of my cultivation of gratitude. I'm grateful for the people that listen. I'm grateful for the people that meditate with me. I'm grateful for the people <clears throat> working toward blessing all, including yourself, forgiving all, including yourself in all directions of time, Respecting the free will choices of all, including yourself, in all directions of time. You have never made a mistake. You have only ever created a learning experience. And so it is. And loving all, including yourself. You can love people without loving their behavior. You can do it. That is how we win. <laughs> Be the light. Hold the light. I love you. Have a great week. Oh. Bye to you too.